Hey y'all, welcome to Selling with Ginny and Alex. <laughs> Where did you grow up at? <laughs> hey everyone, so today I have a very special guest, my mom, Dawn. Hi! So we're going to do the mother-daughter tag and we're just going to jump right into it because it's pretty long and my mom's chatty. So let's go for it. Alright, the first question is, what was I like as a child? An angel. That's the answer. Pretty angelic. Go ahead. Sorry. Well, she was. You were a really easy, easy <laughs> little girl. Really wanted to, to please. Um, sweet as a button. Sweetest, really, really, really. Sweetest of all the buttons. Of all buttons there could be, you were Stop the sweetest. Lying. <laughs> That's my stepdad. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Telling my mom she's lying. <laughs> Alright, the second question is, what do you think of me making YouTube videos? I think it's awesome. I think it's awesome because it's so courageous. So courageous. To put this face out in public. <laughs> No, to put yourself out there and for other people. Because you know what? People say bad things. People say negative things. And you're being courageous to say, to get out there, to say what you think and feel and believe and do it no matter what other people say. And I'm really proud of you for that. The third question is, what's something funny I did when I was younger? Well, you weren't the funniest of children. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it was funny to me. Uh -oh. It wasn't a funny thing that you did. So you're about three years old okay. and never, ever, ever, ever had a temper tantrum. Ever. Ever. Really? Really. That's pretty good track record. And, um, and I did something you didn't like and you stomped your little foot and I just cracked up because that was your temper. I mean, it was so, it was so sweet. And I'm like, oh, you just had a temper tantrum. <laughs> The next question is, have you learned anything about makeup and beauty from me? And have I learned anything about makeup and beauty from you? I have learned <laughs> that big hoops make me look like a hoochie mama. <laughs> I remember that. I remember being funded by that. The bigger Nothing the hoop, the, hoochie mama. the bigger the hoop, the hoop, the bigger the hooch. It's true. You know, I've learned, first of all, there is an end date to how much sparkle makeup you can wear. <laughs> In terms of, you know, the older you are, the less sparkle you should use. It's a recent lesson. <laughs> um, and I learned that makeup can be very transforming. Right, what's a weird habit of mine? Ooh, and I want to answer this about you. Oh, a weird habit of yours? I think we both share a habit. Oh, what is it? It's a little bit of talking to ourselves. Oh, yeah, we do. It's pretty bad. It is. It is. I would say that's weird. It's a I'm coping pretty sure. Scale. Yeah, we, I think uh, people think we're psychotic. But psychotic. now, wait, we do not hear voices. No. I don't hear it's voices. It's not like I'm talking to, I'm, I know I'm talking to myself. Right. The much wiser self of mine that lives within. We're verbally processing. Really? That's really that's all it is. is. It's verbal process. First step is denial, but that's okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. If you had to rename me, what would you name me? Well, I think you have the perfect name because it means strength. And you are a very strong woman. Just look at these guns. Oh my gosh. The name that keeps on popping up is Elizabeth. And I always like the name Elizabeth Rose. Which Wow, that's... Probably totally a unique one. Well, it's just it's so. It's very pretty. It is a very pretty very name. Pretty. When we go out to eat, what do I order? Okay, here's the thing. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter where we go or what she orders, but she has to have on the side honey mustard. <laughs> yes. Yes, this is true. <laughs> and I remember at Olive Garden, my mom ordered. <laughs> <laughs> Angel hair pasta with marinara, and the waiter was like, "Do you want meatballs with that?" And I, was, I just thought that was really inappropriate. <laughs> <laughs> and mom was like, "No, but maybe later." <laughs> um, what is one thing you wish I would do? The dishes. Okay, yeah, that's fair. <laughs> that's fair. If I do dishes like twice a week, it's pretty good. <laughs> well, what is something I do that annoys you? Well, I'm answering this point for you. But what only because I love you. Let's just say that sometimes, sometimes Brianna is a little too organic. <laughs> Let's just say. Well, my colon health is better, so. 
<laughs> well, that's probably true. It's not even something that, it's like not something intentional that she does, but she, when she's eating yogurt, and she scrapes the bottom of the glass, mm-hmm. like her bowl, and it's so annoying. I just want to, but then I love her after she's done. <laughs> What's something I obsess over? I think probably normal things. You obsess over the care of Titus and what's next and how can I be the best mom and what is that going to look like once I'm in school or, you know, I mean, but really normal things and nothing outside of the realm of what's reasonable. And I feel like you obsess over similar or, you know, but in your stage of life things Mm -hmm. like your kids and your health and your relationship and what you want to do when you grow up sort of things. Yeah. I think that's a, I think those are all normal. Yeah. Obsessions. Uh, probably. <laughs> Where would you like to see me in 10 years? Well, am I honest? Am I being honest? I mean, uh, there are several things I'd love to see you in 10 years. In yep. 10 years, I'd love to see your schooling completed. I would too. I'm with you on that. You know, absolutely. <laughs> I would love to see, and if, if I'm being honest, I would love to see you married. Me too. With a couple more kids. Me too. Um, and I would love to see you practicing your faith in a very meaningful way for you. Right. Yes, me too. So, so yeah, we're, I, we're, woo! <laughs> same goals. <laughs> when were you most proud of me? Now, uh, I will tell you, I've been proud of you, period, I mean, periodically, <laughs> Sometimes. from time to from time. The- uh, recently, in the state of Maine, there was the elections, and Brianna had an opportunity to vote um, for the mayor that's, is it the governor or the mayor? The governor. The governor. Well, it supports your pro-life agenda. Yes. Okay, so you're very pro-life, I'm very pro-life. But she had a lot of uh, friends around her that were giving her grief over that. Um, not because of the pro-life issue, but because of other Which things. Which I agreed with. Right. Despite a lot of external pressure to do the contrary, you stuck to your guns. You know, you had moral courage. <laughs> despite what it might have cost you with your friends to stick to your guns. And I was really proud of you. Because it was hard. Thank you. I knew that it was hard. Moral of the story is never talk politics. That's it. <laughs> or just have the moral courage to be honest and to know why you believe what you believe. There we go. That's yeah. probably a better moral story. <laughs> <laughs> what is the worst thing I've ever done? Um, Brianna will understand this. You will not, but Brianna will. Rock, paper, scissors. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wouldn't say. I wouldn't say. Put it. It was like the. It was the stupidest thing yeah, I've ever done. Yeah, 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 yeah. It wasn't yeah. well thought through, yeah. per se. <laughs> it, was, it didn't quite complete the process. I might have to make that sort of, like, censored story in another video. There you go. The worst thing you've ever done? Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Okay, no. Go not the worst thing, but it was <laughs> hilarious afterwards is I, I hit around the corner to scare her. And I did, and she hates that, and she hit me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, favorite moment of us together. What was your favorite? Oh, my gosh. There have been so many. So many. Um, you'll never find a person that will make you laugh more than what you do. Me. I mean, my um, favorite moment of us together uh, was honestly probably, well, I have two of them. When you were born and when Titus was born. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you know what? I'm on board with that. When Titus is born and my mom was there with me, she's a doula too, and that was really, I could not have done it without her. Absolutely, 100%. And it I was, was amazing to have you there. Yeah. She cut the cord. You were part of the process. I know. And in a uh, big way. <laughs> what I loved is that I was honored that you would have me in there with you. I mean, I, it, it was an honor it to be there. couldn't have been any other way. You know, I was so, I'm so grateful that, and I think that that's a testimony to, in your parenting, because we're probably talking to a lot of young parents, I wasn't the perfect parent by any stretch of the imagination, but God is so good and faithful. And, you know, and, and so, because it could have been where Brianna hated me so much that I did, she didn't want me in the nursing or in the delivery room. And so I'm so thankful that. You know, 
Yay! <laughs> Screw me up. I, well, I may have, but, <laughs> but you don't seem to realize it. <laughs> um, how was I in school? This is an interesting way to go after that. Yeah, uh, <laughs> you know, you always, in school, really had the opinion that you had to complete your work. Yes. I mean, just boom, boom, boom. I mean, really had a high sense of duty. Um, and a great student by and large. And pretty, you know, she's an easy, you're easy. Thanks. <laughs> Prefer back to the rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> <laughs> what would you change if you could raise me again? Um, uh, I would say, what would I change? If Nothing, I could I'm perfect. You again? There's zero things. I am what everyone wants to raise for a child. You know what I would change? No, no, no. Truly, more athletics. That's what I was going to say. Right when, he, right yeah. when my stepdad said that, yeah. yep, I, I actually would have changed that about my Yeah, I would have I would have said go outside. Yep. You mm -hmm. know, go play soccer. So any closing thoughts? You know, I think that parenting is for the long haul. And that if you can't look at a day of bad parenting as the definition of how you parent. You're gonna have bad days. It just is what it is, because you're human. And be gracious to yourself and kind and patient. Because you know what? It's not, it's just, it's all the collective days that stack on top of each other. The, the days of the huggles and the snuggles and the Best. book <laughs> readings and, and going out and playing in the park. They all stack on top of each other. Yes, from time to time you're gonna be, that was a bad parenting choice. <laughs> but, but you know, it's the long, it's the long haul, and um, and it's good. And you know, just keep open lines of communication, keep loving each other, because you know that's family is what you got. You know, it's what you got. Friends I love my family. are gonna come. Back, I love but family. I love my family. You're the best. Ooh. All right. Ciao. Ciao. <laughs>